Rion's unknown sponsor, Sayaka AV, is not gonna like that. Yeah, I don't! <laughs> Sunday the 31st. This is it. That's the... It's the last day in the year of the Radiance. Oh, that changes the vibe a little bit. Um, good day. No, no. Let's not... Let's take a second to, like, really get in there. For the last time in 2023. For the last time in the year of the Radiance. Good day, good people. The live chat. Toon Link, Dave, Bravo. Dave, Anomaly, the Anomal Cars, if you know me. It's not even like a penultimate. This is this is it. This is the last upload of the Year of the Radiance. Oh man. But I'm excited to end it with some of your creations. Let's rock it one more time. 2023. Year of the Radiance. In the Don Gone Rampa Hunger Games. It's been a ride. It's definitely been a ride. Huh. I need to plug this in too because it's the Hunger Games and I noticed that the light on these are red right now which means the battery is going to die. Not imminently but like soon. Maybe not even like soon soon. But oh it's under my chair. Oh no. I'll be there in a second. I promise. Queen. Queen went away. Alright, there we go. I had to like untangle it around the wheel without breaking the cord, but. Now we can actually get started. I'm not cutting that out. <laughs> Welcome back, but I will get right into it though. We are back at OC Action. Your champion, Legault Simmons, is here. To show the world just what Legault can do, why Legault became champion at the head of the season, let's start by introducing everyone who's here. So, can we get the most excellent? In District 1, we have. A returning key Kusera, lovely redesign created by Addy B, the ultimate rhythm gamer, is back. Today with the ultimate online content creator created by Kitty Bubbles 23, it is Ariana Aria Lee. And this is Aria's last season in the Donnarapa Hunger Games. At least for now. Which Oh, see, will Kitty Bubbles enter next? Unsure, but what I've heard is that it will depend on how uh, how the entrant goes for OC Revolution, her, uh, hosted by Dirk Madison. Very interesting, but that ain't all we got here. We also have in District Two, new to the competition. Actually, it is Kaylee, created by Kaylee slash uh, Chadal. We have. The ultimate graffiti artist. And they are open for commissions at Chadal 12. Don't know if the page is open yet. At the time of submissions, the page was not open, but if it is, be sure to check them out. And with our ultimate graffiti artist, and I kind of like the design on the, uh, the actual shirt there. Very graffiti style. We also have, created by Splendid, the ultimate blacksmith, it is a Johnny Burke. And this fantastic OC created in pit crew. Once again, the ultimate blacksmith. <laughs> so, and I feel like I might be outing myself as a gambler because when I first read it, I saw ultimate uh, blackjack and I was like, gambling? <laughs> but blacksmiths are twice as cool. And I'm excited to see what Johnny is gonna be able to do in this competition. District three is interesting. Interesting. Uh, we'll start with Golden, created by the Golden Gamers, the ultimate Keyblade wielder, and it is Golden. 
created by, or rather artwork by, JBoy64 YouTube Keyblades that are drawn there, created by Chicken Tindy Gaming, both of those uh, creators over on YouTube, so check out them respectively. And we, we got a lot going on with, with this one, with, with Golden here, but you know what? I think that's pretty cool. But with Golden is... No. Created by him. It's the ultimate... It's... It's... It, it, it's no. Ah. Uh, don't stare too deeply into its eyes. Run! To District 4, we have... <laughs> You know him, you know, you know him, you love him, Jagspan08, created by Jagspan08, here to go strong and represent the Jags, the Jaguars. And with someone who fits the color scheme, at the very least, created by Birdie Talk Productions, we have the ultimate soccer player, the ultimate soccer star, rather, I'm sorry, Atsumi Keiko. And Atsumi, first and foremost, <laughs> teaming up with Jagspan, it's a football soccer duo. I think they should like shake hands and say yeet ball. <laughs> Will football and soccer be able to coexist today? And I also see over there dislikes heel AV. I'm gonna rat you out to to go Thursday V, although he is a little bit of a fiend. But I feel like he's been he's been doing pretty pretty less fiendish as of late, but who knows what he's got planned. We also have in District 5, for the first time, both of them for the first time, actually. Vera Yamamoto. And Vera, created by Chocolate Cake, is the ultimate cult leader. Also, really love the artwork and the art style on this one. Incredible job and incredible OC. But also teaming up with a new to the action very cute like look at this really cute oc design delaware cult i'm sure it has a very cute talent as well ultimate mer oh uh ultimate murderer oh oh well created by golden coyotes is the ultimate murderer <laughs> okay that's that's a, all right that, that's fine oh, cool I guess that's really that's really gonna be fitting for for the Hunger Games. Might help you out, but will it get you into the top 12? That is the main question. District 6 sees returning to the action. The ultimate cyborg is back. Has been progressively doing a little bit better, but has not been doing the best of all time. Will Subasa Yoshi be able to come through and win this game? Ultimate cyborg created by Ezra. Good luck to you, Subasa. But Subasa teaming up with a very well versed, not really teaming up, teaming up, but you know, in the same district as a very well versed Nunzio Kron. Created by Naoto, it's the ultimate sign language interpreter. Nunzio's back. We've seen Nunzio take W's before. Will Nunzio take another W today? We'll have to wait too much longer to see because we are more than halfway through these OCs as we see two returning faces. One has a, a two, two regular looking eyes right now. We see Daruma Pansy created by May. The ultimate gardener is back. Has had a very successful streak in the Danganronpa Hunger Games in the past. Could continue that success to this day. But when we talk about successful OCs, we talk about David Gunther, who has been able to do some fantastic things in the past, created by The Grenade. The ultimate male gamer is back. David is back, looking death in the eye twice. It's go time against Nyes in the notes. And Nyes very, very interesting. I've, I've, I've kind of been peeking at, at, at things and knives and whatnot and I'm still I'm still a little bit confused on what they what they did the fight before Christmas but that's a that's a Wednesday V problem <laughs> Sunday V problem says we're going to District 8 and we have some fantastic OCs including created by the Nuzlocker Evelyn Whisper and if she tosses an axe at you it's going to fly right by your ear in a whisper if she's not trying to hit you 
That's the ultimate axe thrower. Or it might hit you in the face if it's trying to hit you in the face, in which case you <laughs> Incredible artwork, Evelyn Whisper, good luck to you. But we also see a very hype, a very cool, very dope returning Rion Yorokobi, created by Tiger Fairy, aka Bond, the ultimate cartoonist, is back. And we love Rion yonder these parts and I I the little little like Monokuma crosshair uh in the in the hand, I think that's really dope. I think that's <laughs> that's super duper dope. Good luck to you, Rion. We'll see if you're able to make that top 12 today. And now we have a former tag team, Agent of Chaos, E48, aka Eva, has returned once again created by Cherry. The ultimate AI is here. And with the Ultimate AI, someone else who we recognize and we acknowledge, created by Jackie Mackie 101. Once again, you can also check out Jackie Mackie 101 over on the Instagram. Momo Rusakov is here, the Ultimate Broadway actress. When this AI teams up with a Broadway actress, can they potentially put on a show of shows? A show that can get them to the grandest stage of them all, the OC finale. Well, that, that much is yet to be seen. But see, we shall, and moving on, we have a former tag team champion. We see Takuto Maruyama. Created by TBZ, the ultimate entertainer, formerly prisoner is, or rather formerly slash, <laughs> that was the former one, the current one, is most definitely ultimate prisoner. But you know what? I think, you know, for a Hunger Games, you might need to remove those shackles for a little bit. Good luck to you, Takuto, teaming up with also returning Alex. Alex Masachue, created by Josephs, the ultimate mechanic, is here as well. And right there, you can check out Heiwa. That's who did that artwork. And so, we're down to our final two, and we stare them, we acknowledge them. We see LeGault Simmons, created by Theo Vellum, the ultimate thief, is back again. Title held proudly here to steal the show, but tracking him down, potentially reigning chaos, is Rose Kennedy, the ultimate fantasy writer, created by Jurassic Elephant 7, is watching his every move. And that brings us right back to here. And I would just play the -da 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 music and tell you to make your picks, but there is something that we have to do first, isn't there? We gotta spin this wheel. And this might not be like the biggest, longest episode, but it may be one that closes out the year of the Radiance with the title on the line. I know most of you in the live chat are thinking, chaos, chaos. But will that happen? I think we're about to find, nope. That is Thursday V's, that's Friday V's wheel actually. We have the wheel I use, and that is in three, no, three, Two, one. One and three. Last time, we just missed it. This time, will Theo be so lucky? As we make the roll, we see will be so lucky, actually. Dang. <laughs> it was close, but like, still real lucky. If only. This wheel could spin again a second time. No, we can't do that. that. That truly and sincerely wouldn't be fair. That being said, hey, go ahead and make your picks. First, second, third. We have all these OCs. Remember, the top 12 go on to that OC finale. And I'm going to, while you make those picks in the live chat in the comments, take a drink of this. I found this in the store. It's a Snickers flavored iced coffee. And I don't really drink coffee, but I do love Snickers. So I was like, yeah, hey, I'll give anything that says Snickers a shot. It's pretty good. The 
the coffee flavor is not too strong, and I can really like taste the, the not the rainbow. <laughs> that's not Snickers. That's Skittles. <laughs> I can taste the the, the the laughter, you know, cause Snickers is like a sneak sneak Snickers is a is a lot. I'm gonna It's good! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Have you made your picks? I'm gonna make mine. Give me Vera. I don't know why. I'm just feeling it. Uh for a second I'm gonna take Evelyn. And for third, I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take Jags fan. I'm rooting for the Jaguars. <laughs> That's where we're going. Those are my picks. Everyone. I guess I hope you're ready. Let's see how many times we're gonna re-simulate. As we pick up this roll, it's time. Wait. Oh, it's actually Asnir. That's crazy. I expected Pablo. Oh? Oh, interesting. Well, fascinating. Asnir's telling me something rather fascinating. Well, you see, apparently... Pablo, inspired by Asnir's performance lately, is training. You're telling me what, Asnir? He's gonna... After the announcement that... Oh, that's just gonna be the goodest bean match of all time. Ladies and gentlemen. Pablo is talking to Hank. And well, they just want to put on a show. They want to have a banger. They want to have the goodest, most nicest, most peaceful, most sportsmanship match of all time. It's going to be Hank versus Pablo this Friday at Friday Night Inferno. Oh my heart. Those beans. Pablo... Can you, can you give him a human form? Oh? Well, I can't say that I'm not excited because I am now very excited. We'll see how that goes. I still need to spin you though. That is a blockbuster announcement. We've seen Asnir compete many a times with pa Pablo. Fascinating. I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. That being said, Asnir, how many times are we rolling? How many times are we simulating? Four. You do love to see that four times we'll be re-simulating. And be also aware. I should remind you because it is the 31st. OC Revolution. OC submissions close today. Today, the 31st. So, I'll probably also remind you during the episode because some people skip this part. But also... I guess it's okay to say that that OC revolution will be January 20th. And oh, how exciting it's gonna be. I'm excited, I know you guys are excited, but I know everyone's excited for how, to see how this game plays out. So let's actually see how this game plays out. <laughs> let's, 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 let's. I mean, we should probably just keep this music rolling actually as we re-simulate, not one time. Not two times, not three times, but... Are you ready? Four. Four times. What will unfold when these 22 tributes go toe-to-toe? -to -toe? Let's find out 12 spots. Who will grab them? Let's see. We start off with... The Bloodbath and the Horn Bears and the Horns and they sound them. I'm good. <laughs> Although, Alex runs away from the cornucopia, Noel runs into the cornucopia and hides. Risky maneuver. Eva sees a landmine stash 
Oh my gosh, Eva sees a landmine, so does Johnny. They both see landmines stashed away in the cornucopia. Uh, Johnny and Eva both try to avoid them, but David and Delaware come charging in. <laughs> Guns are blazing, the both of you saying, yeet, and yeet themselves onto landmines, and the four of them all perish. Huh. <laughs> Takuto convinces Rose not to kill him, only to kill her instead. Arya approaches Vera, Nunzio, and Rion, telling them that she'll be killing them all this game. Keep that in mind. Momo and Jax Van fall in love at first sight despite the circumstances. Legault runs away from the Cornucopia. Kaylee, uh, Daruma, and Atsumi get into a fight. Atsumi triumphantly kills them both. Oh, oh, we're, we're going strong in the bloodbath, huh? Okay. Evelyn gets a kitchen knife. Tsubasa and Kiku run away from the Cornucopia, and Golden runs away as well. We are at day one, and, and some shenanigans are all, all going on, aren't they? <laughs> Vera, Alex and Noel band together to fend off a pack of starving wolves. Momo practices their archery. Uh, Rion and Atsumi and Legault holds an intervention for AV's pancake addiction. I'm not gonna show up because I don't have one. Y'all are tripping, tripping. I even have. I haven't even had pancakes today. Did I have them yesterday and the day before that and the day before that and the day before that? Golden sits on apple cider. Takuto and Jack Spencer sitting in a tree. KSS ing. Uh, Evelyn places a bomb next to the river to explode some fish. Uh, Kiku raises Tsubasa's hopes and then dashes them quite expertly. Dang. Nunzio attempts to do a, school, a cool skateboarding trick, but ends up with her gut splatter on the pavement, and Arya almost falls off the cliff, but able to earthbend her way to safety. Shockingly enough, we do not have a day one arena event, but we do have eight competitors already out of this competition. And man oh man, <laughs> does that bring us close to our final 12, doesn't it? After this, Claire de Lune 4. Eva, David, Johnny, Delaware, Rose, Kaylee, Daruma, Nunzio. And did, you know what? There's still the free-for-all. <laughs> There's still the free-for-all. Um, and if it doesn't go well, then you sure enough have the Agent of Chaos episode in preseason. But for right now, we have to focus on our top 12. Um, and with them, we only need two more until we get there. Which is going to feel real bad for the two who do not get it. <laughs> so the real question is, who is going to get it? <laughs> and I guess the question is, who needs it is the real question. We'll find out. We'll find out soon. Most everybody needs it. But we going to find out who going to get it. Who's going to get it? Which two are about to be out just so close. So close, but so far. We'll proceed to day, night one, because I can read. To see Evelyn dies like a green. Golden and Atsumi work together to drown Arya. Arya's gone. We'll be back in the free for all, but no, Arya. Vera turned out to be a clone, and Momo was the original Vera all along. Alex sets up a trap, but unfortunately ends up trapping herself. Noel buys a plush of Tsubasa and cuddles with it. Legault passes out from exhaustion. Apartment complex? Kiku finds it quite simple, really. Uh. Takuto sings Rihanna lullaby, and Kotoko and Kotoka introduce Jagspin to their long lost twin, Kokoto. <laughs> Jags fan <laughs> becoming familiar with all of the uh, Katoko siblings. The rating pestle rates Tsubasa 13 points. That's a low rating. Uh, Jags fan commits a crime and runs away giggling. Golden is so excited to have his, uh, about his super weapon, rather, that will take over the arena that he wore a song about it. Uh, Kiku joins the Mistletoe Warriors, a group that's waging war against Mistletoe during any other month besides December. Oh no. Don't you dare be sour. Clap. For your world famous tag team champs and feel the power. New Day Rocks. Alright. <laughs> that being said, Alex eats cheese puffs, Atsumi plays patty cake with Rion. Uh, Momo has balloons, Takuto comes along and pops them. Evelyn receives a gift from a secret mirror. It's a sword. Legolt is sick and tired of playing nice, and Legolt actually turns a heel. Oh man, and Vera also excited about that super weapon, which feels more fitting because, well, that's a cult leader right there. We Did we only lose the one? Oh my gosh, we just lost the one! I was like, which two is it gonna be? We won't know yet because we just lost the one. Now everyone on the edge of their seat saying, who will it be? I guess we'll find out next time after this Clarity Loon 4. Aria. And that... It's not all she- I mean, it's not all she wrote specifically, because we're not even at saving grace picks. We're at an unlucky 13, but once again, at this point in time, at this juncture, it could be feast at any moment. How long will these tributes be able to survive with one another, against one another, in these harsh conditions? Will we see an arena event? 
Let's find out the answer to all of these questions as we... Proceed. Kiku, Golden Null, Jags fan, Atsumi, Tsubasa, Evelyn, Rion, Momo, Takuto, Alex, Legault. It is your final 13. One of them will perish and it will be dark days for them. And that one is... Rion throws a Molotov to Subasa after the fire dissipates. Rion's perfectly okay somehow. Takuto, Momo, and Alex in her scrimmage with Kiku, Golden, and Atsumi. They argue about V3's ending. Lego and Evelyn have a pose off. Evelyn wins. Vera attacks Null with a legacy of her bloodline. The bloodline wasn't strong enough, allowing Null to retaliate and kill Vera. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and Jagspan says, hey, let's vibe to Dire Dire Docks. As we proceed. Evelyn slurps her fresh applesauce. Jags fan finds the remains of a viking ship. Golden is pricked while thorns while picking berries. Takuto puts all their faith into a Tua. Alex gets off to a rocky start with her new professor. Atsumi. <laughs> Atsumi is a professor, huh? Okay. Rion puts all of their faith into a Tua. Null decides to lend Avi a hand and kills Komodo Dragon that's losing the arena. Thank you, but Kiku sees this and kills Null in a fit of rage. Legault can see the end of the horizon. Hatsune Miku. Miku. Is that you? And Momo finds the right half of Tsubasa's body. But, because Vera died first, Null and Tsubasa do go on to that season 15 finale. But it's still a clear day looting four. Vera. Null. Tsubasa. And so... Well, I mean, legitimately, and so I think we're at our final <laughs> 10, actually. A full, uh, not a full set of 10, but... Yeah, no, it is a full set of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, oh, that is 10. That is 5 plus 5. That's, oh, that's 6 plus 4. 7 plus 3. 8 plus 2. It's 9 plus... I'll carry the 1. 1! <laughs> and it is your... <laughs> Saving Grace... As I lose my mind, we still have Kiku <laughs> still hanging in there. Golden is still hanging in there as well. Jack's fan as well as Atsumi. Evelyn, the whisper <laughs> of the axe flying past your ear. The uh, the truest cartoonist, Rion. We have Momo, Takuto, Alex, and the champion Legault here still in action. But which of these ones, which of these OCs will come through, make your picks in the live chat? First, second, third. Who is going to carry on and be the one? Right now, Atsumi is going wild with the KOs, but it's not all about KOs. Sometimes you can win this with just striding on through. Will someone do that today? Or will Atsumi have a reign of dominance? Will we see the champion come through and hold that title high saying, this is why I'm champion. We're about to find out right here, right now. So let's do it. And do it we shall. I'm going to make my picks real quick because I, I realize I didn't. I know that you all have made yours. <laughs> Give me Evelyn first. Um, Kiku second, and I'll take... Despite my better judgment, I'm going to take Golden for third. And that being said, it's your final ten. All of them standing tall with grand hopes of allure, of championship grandeur. And their hearts beat and sink as they think about it. Their pace of their heart, their pulse rather, quickening. With the same heartbeat, determination, perhaps even that same fate as that of... A samurai woman. <laughs> I didn't choke on the Snickers beverage, you choked on the Snickers beverage. Alright, top 10, here we go. <laughs> Golden passes out from exhaustion. Same. Jax Van gets mad because Kiku and Takuto count how many sand, uh, tells Takuto rather to count how many sand particles in the desert. Why is there a desert in the arena in the first place? Momo fins Evelyn, Rion, and Alex away from her fire. Legault. Receives fresh fruit from an unknown sponsor, and Atsumi dyes her hair purple. We didn't lose a single soul. And I think we're not going to lose one in the next day either. Check this. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> I think we just lost a single soul, actually. No, two. As Rion's unknown sponsor, Saika, Avi's not going to like that. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Jackspin. Uh, and Legault pull their money to hire Takuto, an assassin, to kill Golden. The Golden is richer than them and pays Takuto to kill them instead. 
Y'all never count out Golden. Evelyn sees Alex holding a meeting with Momo Kiku and Atsumi. We lost instead to that day our champion and the Jags. It is unfortunate. That is indeed. <laughs> Jags fan is gonna hate it because Jags fan hates when the Jags lose and Jags just lost. And it's a terrible turnabout for. Jags fan. Look old. Well, let's see everybody's status. This is where our final eight. Uh, Kiku, Golden, Atsumi, and Evelyn, Rion, Momo, Takuto, and Alex, all still going toe-to-toe -to -toe for that top spot. Everyone here is still going on to that, I'm sorry, that finale, but who will carry the momentum by winning this game? It's still Samurai Woman time. Part of me believes, like, we're gonna get an event that's just gonna be like, oh, well, that's a bunch of them. Next round sees, maybe we won't get that, but we do see Golden pushing Atsumi off a cliff during a knife fight. Alex and Takuto have a tea party. Uh, while reaching for the kettle, Alex knocks a load, spilling imaginary boiling water on Takuto's lap. It burns like the real thing, though. Momo helps Avion open the rival establishment to the Waffle House called the Pancake House. Now, let me be honest. Dude. I don't hate the Waffle House. Dude. They got good other things other than waffles. I just wish, you know, this Waffle had to just, you know... That, that's the issue, huh? The waffle part. Rion has a dream in which Kiku is winning this premonition or something, and Evelyn falls into a frozen lake and drowns. We are down to now six. As we go to six, it is a quick feast. <laughs> as the cornucopias are pulling up the food, weapons, and memoirs from the tributes, uh, the tributes families, which brings us from six to four, as Alex severely slices Takuto with a sword, and Golden, Momo, and Rion track down and take out Kiku. And we still have a day to get through. And the day sees everybody live, though. Alex asks Golden, do you think I'm some sort of clown? Golden shrugs and says, maybe. Let Momo cook. Will Momo cook this game is the real question. And Rion sips on apple cider. We went from eight to four. We lost four. And it is a terrible turnabout. Four. Asumi, Evelyn, Takuto, Kiku. From the fateful eight to the fantastic four, we see... Golden, Rion, Momo, Alex. One newcomer, three seasoned veterans, one opportunity to make their moment today. No title on the line, but it is all about that momentum. You win a game, your name gets remembered in the echelons of history. And they want that. Each of them want that. Golden wants that. Rio, I'm sorry, Rion wants that, Momo wants that, Alex wants that. And they find them all find themselves all caught in our final four, within our final five, something we like to call a crises. Of fate. I can smell Snickers because I didn't choke on it, you choked on it. <laughs> it didn't go down the wrong pipe. I'm okay, <laughs> we'll proceed. It's night five, as Alex and Momo huddle together for warmth. It's a little awkward. Rion creates an etch sketch after a few hours. I'm sorry, finds another sketch. <laughs> Imagine creating an etch sketch. <laughs> creates a masterpiece, though, and Golden Roman is about the year of the horizon next round sees. Momo kills Rion for his supplies. Rion out of this one. It is Momo, Alex, and Golden as Alex invades Golden's privacy and listens to him sing in the shower. We proceed to see one gone goes on to that finale, but... For right now, it is still a terrible turnabout for. Rion. It is Golden, Momo, and Alex. An interesting final three. Once again, two veterans, one newcomer, and still a crisis of fate. How will this play out? And we know Brand Steel. This is the point in the brand store where it's like, all right, it could, it, one of these, one event could just be like, all right, <laughs> it's over. Will that one event happen? We proceed to see. It does not. But Momo convinces Alex to snuggle with her. They've been snuggling a lot. Golden receives Yakiniku from an unknown sponsor. We proceed again to see. It is down to just two. As Golden gets drenched in honey sticky, and Momo receives milk supply from a mysterious man dressed as a wizard, as Alex falls into a frozen lake and drowns, and as we proceed, unless there's an arena event, we are down to your final two. Alex, 
This one, this terrible turnabout, is for you. Alex. Well? You know what that means. It is your final two. And I have to ask you, <laughs> between these two, who will it be? The Broadway actress, or will it be the Keyblade Master? One on one, you would think that the one wielding the Keyblades would easily defeat someone who's just performing on Broadway. However, you never count Miss Momo out for a second. A seasoned veteran here to try and take down the competition in second place could be first should this game go her way. But standing in her way is someone who I, I assume wields great power. Incredible power. Will that power prove to be enough? Momo. Golden. Golden Momo. Call it in the live chat. Call it in the comments because this is not a battle we ever expected to see. But it's one we're about to find out the result for between Golden and Momo. One or both or neither will stand tall. And that answer is... Momo hugs Golden, but Golden does not like it and kills her for it. And here we are. As we proceed, we do have a winner. And that winner is... Representing District 3. One might consider this an amalgamation. Some might consider it an abomination. But today everyone must consider it your winner. Taking a W over every other OC, Golden takes the win. And here we go. Congratulations to Golden. The Keyblades, they came in handy. <laughs> and congratulations as well to our entire top 12. Oh, Vera just made 13. That was my pick. <laughs> that was my pick. That being said, let's take a peek at everybody who take uh, took uh, took the top 12 right here as we bring up the bracket as well. We had, in addition, two the 12th from last time. We have in 12th place, no. Subasa in 11th, Jax fan in 10th, Legault in 9, technically earning you guys a fan vote. Atsumi in 8th, Evelyn 7th, Takuto 6th, Kiku in 5th, Rion 4th, Alex 3rd, Momo in 2nd, and Golden taking the W. And that leaves us with the free for all. Free for all coming. Uh, not next week. Next week is tag team action. And the free-for-all will be shortly after that. <laughs> that being said, let's go through everybody else. Vera. So close. 13th. You were my pick. <laughs> but hey, free-for-all. Aria, also so close. Nunzio, 15th. Duruma, 16th. Kaylee, 17th. Uh, Rose, 18th. Delaware, 19th. Uh, the, f the fourth of the getting with the, the explosions was nuts. Delaware, Johnny, David, and Eva. Y'all <laughs> didn't make it far, but you sure had a moment together. And that, well, that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote on that front. Let's go ahead and proceed to how it all started. Yep, the double landmine explosion with four folks. Incredible, but it all ended with a hug, and Golden sure didn't like it. Taking the win for District 3. Had four KOs, had the most KOs out of everybody. Uh, Atsumi, three. Takuto, three. Momo, two. Alex, two. Kiku, one. No one. And Rion, one. That's all she wrote. We know our top 12. We know essentially almost the entirety of the singles bracket. We only have a couple pieces left to, to put into place. That being said, we'll go back to the reaping one more again. And that was our game. I, I, I think pretty short and simple. I'm not sure because I had to cut it because you were joking on stickers. <laughs> Not me. 
I'm drinking it without any problem. I'm gonna not drink it again just in case, you know, just in, just in case you guys choke on the beverage again and have it go down the wrong pipe. <clears throat> I still taste it. I mean, you still taste it. We're gonna end the episode. <laughs> Make sure to enter your OCs in OC Revolution. Those close today those submissions close today january 20th is when it will be so get excited um i am excited i think it's gonna be a fantastic time until then united states saber is taking off toodaloo flight crew thank you once again to all the ocs here they will all be back for the free for all so get ready for it toodaloo flight crew thanks for watching